YouTube. So I showed you some new colors that I got from Raving Beauty Cosmetics um, a couple of videos ago or a video ago. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to upload this. But this is a look I did with the new colors I got. The ones that I'm wearing are Sparkle Beige Romance grape, and Grape Soda and Carbon. Um, I really hope you like it. If you want to learn how to do it, keep watching and I'll show you how. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take a little tiny bit of Vaseline on our fingertip. We're just going to spread that over our eyelid. And you just want the tiniest amount so you don't wind up with creasing. If you wind up with too much, just use another finger and kind of spread it out a bit and remove a little bit of it. And then I want to use a Raving Beauty Cosmetics eyeshadow in Sparkle Beige. I'm just going to apply that in my inner corner like this. Just a little bit right there in your inner corner. After we get that in, then we are going to apply some a pink shade. I'm going to be using Raving Beauty's uh, Romance eyeshadow, and I'm going to apply that all over the rest of my lid. Well, see, I am not happy with where it went into my Sparkle Beige. So I'm just going to go back in with the Sparkle Beige from Raving Beauty Cosmetics and just put a little bit right there just to blend the two shades together. And I like the way that looks better. And then for our crease, I'm going to be using Raving Beauty's Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Grape Soda. And I'm just going to apply that up into the crease bit there and into the very outer corner. We'll just blend that up as we're going. Again, patting and patting and blending, but you want to blend upward so that you don't remove your product. And I'm just watching the other side to make sure I bring it up as far. So I'm watching both one side while I'm doing the other, which again comes with practice, but if you have to stop and look at the other side, you know you can do that and judge it. And then once I get that in, then I want to go into um, a black eyeshadow. I'm going to use Raving Beauty's Cosmetics Carbon. And I'm just going to take a very small amount with the, of this. You just want to, you want to be very careful with this because a little goes a long way. And just go into my outer V with the same brush. And just a very tiny amount. You want to be really careful with the carbon. Because like I said, a little goes a long way and follow with it can be very messy. Once we've done that, then I want to go back in with the purple color. I'm going to be using Raving Beauty's Cosmetics and Grape Soda. And just go back over our crease and outer corner. And then I'm just going to take a brush and I'm just going to blend out my my sharp edges a little bit. And then I'm going to apply some um, a beige sparkly uh, highlighter. So I'm going to use Raving Beauty Sparkle Beige eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply that right on my brow bone, blending it into the grape soda. Just like that. And then I'm going to use the brush that I applied the grape soda with and just kind of go along there, just kind of so that you keep your purple up as high as you can. But if you have less space in between here, you would probably want to leave it with more beige. Then I am going to apply a cream liner. Now I know I asked in my last video um, if you guys liked when I applied my eyeliner um, in the videos or if you thought that I should maybe not do it in every video. And it was kind of half and half, so I think sometimes I'm going to and sometimes I am not. But this time I will. And then once we get the cream liner on, I want to go back into Raving Beauty's Carbon and just use the same brush and just very, very lightly dab this along that line that we did with the, with the gel liner. Because again, you want to be very careful with the carbon because it can be very, very messy and a little goes a very long way. It turns out a beautiful black though, it gives you a really nice defined eye. And I really like it. I think it's blacker than my NYX's black. And then I'm going to take a pencil liner. I'm just going to draw underneath my lower lashes, just like this. And then I'm going to use NYX's Milk Jumbo Pencil. And I'm going to draw just on my waterline. 
And then I'm going to use the brush that I applied the grape soda with. Um, I'm sorry, I have some milk on my hand. <laughs> the brush that I uh, the brush that I applied the grape soda with. I'm just going to go underneath. And then I'm going to be using Prestige's My Biggest Lashes Mascara. I'm sorry if y'all felt that I was rushing through this. It's just that I've got a bad cold and I wanted to get through the video without coughing. But it is a very quick look to do and I think it's very pretty too. So it doesn't take very, very long to, to do this look. This is our final look. I really hope you like it. Bye YouTube. Bye YouTube.